Hey, this is Monica back with Dr. Bernstein's Home Edition update week four. Um, so quite a few topics to talk about today. So a lot of things have happened in the last two weeks, uh, good and bad, of course, <laughs> it's life. Um, but first I'll just let you know that week four, the complete week four, um, was a cheat week uh, for both Robert and I. Um, pre-planned, actually pre-planned to have a weekend after uh, week three, just kind of give a little bit of a break because we're doing so well. Um, but anyway, it turned into about a week because some stressful stuff happened and I guess food is a comfort for a lot of people and it's uh, not any different for us. So anyway, I will update you on what happened with that. So um, Robert said I could show you his picture because he will, he's at work so he can't meet you today, but uh, he said I can show you the pictures like I've been showing for myself, uh, for him, so um, guys can relate to him too, yeah, especially if you got a, a beer gut, uh, that's what he has, <laughs> or had actually. So anyways, we'll go with numbers first. So um, you may or may not know I started at 242.8 pounds, um, and after four weeks I'm 227 even. So it gave me a total loss of 15.8. Um, so I did not lose any more from week three, uh, except uh, 0.2 so, um, of a pound. So that's good with the cheating the whole week uh, in that sense. I've had a total loss of 19 inches um, from the total that I've done all my measurements. Um, in my cheat week, I did three, gain three inches back. So, I mean, it's not a big deal, especially now that we, it's uh, Monday now. We're starting back strict for another good solid month. So that's the plan at least. Um, so anyways, um, just show you the picture of me from when I started. Okay, again, it's from when I started. That's 242.8, so I've got quite a big stomach. Um, then we'll go into what it looks like now. Okay, this is the new picture. Even though I didn't gain, gain or lose any weight in week uh, four, I still redo pictures, like I told you in my little journal, every two weeks. So the pictures and the measurements, so that still goes. So I almost look the same as my last picture, uh, except I've really noticed now that I've got really big, quite big arms. Uh, and that's one thing that's not going down for me, so I'm going to have to work on that at the gym, I guess, because they're quite uh, flabby. Anyway... <laughs> So for Robert, Robert started at 213.8 pounds. Uh, in four weeks, he has become 191.2. So he actually lost five pounds in the cheat week, which of course, as a woman, I'm so jealous. Uh, how can guys do that? He ate oh, probably triple what I ate, but I guess his metabolism is kicking in uh, much better than mine. So he has a loss of 22.6 pounds in one month. So I'm happy for him. And he did not lose any inches, so or gain any inches. He has a lot, had a loss of 14 inches total um, on his body. So this is him at the start, 213.8. Okay, so he had quite a big belly. Um, it probably the picture makes it look smaller than it actually was. He was actually quite large, and uh, it's amazing how much he actually lost. So um, looking totally different to me. So this is what he looks like now. So two, it says 191 now. So he lost so much um, on his waist and uh, a little bit on his bum, but otherwise quite a lot. So super, super happy that we're keep going and he's excited that he wants to keep going because he sees results. So that's perfect, right? You have a partner who wants to keep going, doesn't just want to quit. Although our downfall is that we certainly do have like the same mentality about cheating and kind of like when you do it, just do it and um, it's hard to stop and to do it for one day or uh, for one day. I think a weekend is a good trial, uh, certainly not to go at it for the whole week like we did and we didn't go overboard but certainly was not um, Dr. Bernstein friendly. So um, I'll talk to you guys about these little drops we're taking. Um, we're taking every morning a, um, lemon oil, I don't know if you can see that, there we go, lemon oil and peppermint oil. Is this supposed to be good like a naturopathic way or homeopathic way of a cleansing liver? And since we're eating like already really good in vegetables and doing really well with the diet, um, this is actually supposed to work even better because if you're eating lots of garbage, the these drops won't really do anything for you. So we started taking them and we started realizing even after three weeks of dieting when you're going to the washroom a lot and you know flushing everything out, this stuff even pushed further, like even more going to the bathroom 
you know, more getting things out. So um, we actually felt a lot better, even though the cheat week happened. That doesn't matter. So these are special oils that you are are edible oils. They're not uh, ever. You can't just go to like a, um, you know, a Capers or a Whole Foods and uh, <laughs> this is not the kind that you put in a diffuser. This is a special kind. So if anybody wants some more information, I can certainly put up the website for it. Um, so far, no issue with it. Didn't make me sick or anything, uh, but certainly feel a lot more like things are getting cleaned out. So if, if that works, if it doesn't, um, you know, I, I'm willing to give it a try alongside with the Dr. Burns. It doesn't really affect any of the ketosis things or anything like that. And of course, I was not in ketosis for a week. Robert was in it for two days. Um, we're not officially on Monday in ketosis, so hopefully by Wednesday we'll pop back in. Uh, exciting thing for me is I have got two weeks uh, at Dr. Bernstein's office starting February 6th, so that's next week for my week five and six. Um, I only have two weeks left, so I can ask a lot of questions, print off new food sheets, do lots of things, get some more updated info, so I'll certainly share that. Um, also, okay, so I went and bought two um, tablets and injections and everything just, you know, just out of curiosity, see how much it's going to cost. I kind of bought like a certain amount. So essentially for two people, um, 10 vials of 10 cc's for the um, injections last three and a half months. I mean, it's quite a long time for two people uh, for, at $51, 10, 10 boxes of them for $51. I ordered it from my pharmacy. They didn't have any issue with it. They got it the next day. No problem. Um, for me, it costs $4.70 or something for one. So really cheap. Um, the Swiss and the potassium, again, for two people um, with two bottles of potassium and one of uh, the Swiss last two months. So again, $100 now for these tablets for basically, let's just say an average two, two and a half months. I mean, that's that's great price <laughs> compared to what you're paying. Uh, of course, if you know you've been there, you know how much it costs. So anyways, um, I'll go into that. And uh, kind of an off topic, actually. I was looking at my videos, you know, once in a while and how many weird faces, like for the freeze frames it makes, whatever, like the worst possible position for a person to be in, like, whoa, are they making weird faces for them to pick my video? Um, they just like must have picked a second from it that you make the weirdest face. <laughs> It's kind of off topic, but anyway, it's just I thought it funny that I look so funny in all of the videos. Um, not like a normal just profile picture on them. It's very interesting. <laughs> anyway, um, hope you're all doing well and keeping with the diet. And again, if you're not and you cheated, don't give yourself a hard time. I don't even call it cheating anymore. My new thing is calling it a freedom or like a freedom weekend because you are free. I mean, to do whatever you want and uh, not make yourself feel guilty because then you won't want to go back to it. So you know, you wanna you wanna keep going. So try to not give yourself such a hard time and don't give yourself deadlines like, oh my God, by next week I need to lose 15 pounds, it's my birthday. Don't do that. Just just go with the flow, your cortisol levels, everything will be lower, your stress level, and everything will work out much better, much smoother, and you won't feel so much like you're dieting. Um, also, I've had so many people on Twitter and so many people on here ask me questions about food because I guess they're liking my combinations and uh, it looks pretty tasty, the things I eat. Um, I do, again, put all the pictures and what it yields on Twitter. That's a benefit. People have said you have a journal. I don't have a journal with it. I, I fill out that standard diet sheet like you're supposed to and I put it on Twitter. So finding that was enough uh, for me to do. but. If you are interested, I used to do food tips um, on YouTube for videos as well. I am willing to do that again if I get um, a number of feedback for it. So if you aren't it, voice your opinion. I might even do like a semi, a uh, little bit of like a cooking, not like a show, just a kind of a cooking video for maybe the few favorites that people like. So if you can't mock it and you're finding it hard, then maybe I can um, show you here how it's done in my kitchen, not to yours. So um, I'm totally willing to help again, um, way more into doing videos and keeping up with everything. It's really helping me keep going and keeping me honest as well as Robert's keeping me honest. So it's perfect. And I'm hoping you guys will meet him next week and or in two weeks, sorry. So again, if you don't know um, my Twitter, it's the same as YouTube, The Monicable. Uh, it is worth it to check it out and make an account because um, it's got all lots of things that are updated instead of just hearing from me two, every two weeks. So anyway, sorry about the long video today, but I hope all is well, and I'm hoping to see you in two weeks and report back from the Dr. B Clinic. Talk to you later. Bye.